Now, since data migration is often viewed as a one-time activity, but as we have seen, it's not a one-time activity. Okay, it's divided in phases. So people think that uh, since it's a one-time activity, man- manual migration will work. But since it's in phases, we need to automate those processes. Okay, because you may have to run data migration first on the layer staging environment, right? And that too in phases, and that would be a repetitive process. Okay, and when there are repetitive processes, it is advisable to run automation on it. Otherwise, it would be a tedious task for you. Okay, so automate migration. Okay, if, because migration is split into multiple phases, right? At least there are three stages on which migration runs, right? First is a dry run that we will do uh, for the data migration, uh, maybe on a partial sandbox. Then it may be a full data validation that you might be doing on a full sandbox after doing your sandbox refresh. And then it would be the real production upload that you will do. So there are at least three phases that you have to do for data migration, right? And if you have there are if there are three stages, it's always good to automate it, right? So that same things can be repeated for these three phases or three waves. Okay. Otherwise, what will happen is you will write different scripts for uh, different migrations and run that manually, which will actually effort. With, would be like three times or four times uh, if you don't automate your migration. Okay, and similarly for data quality, it's an iterative process. So make sure you have got maybe some kind of data cleansing dashboards uh, that are present there, uh, which you can actually monitor regularly through your automation migration and see how much data has been cleaned and it is whether it is good to go. Okay. So use automation migration tools. There are a lot of tools available in the market which can automate your processes and automate your migration process because automation migration takes time, right? And it's done in multiple waves. So automate every wave of it so that you save time.